by the time the average American high schooler finishes their senior year, they would have spent roughly 2,160 days total in school. That's first grade all the way through their senior year. That actually equals out to 14,040 hours or 842,400 minutes total time spent in school through all those years. So it goes without saying that there has been an immense amount of time and dedication building up to this very moment. So it is with great honor that I stand in front of you, County High School's class of 2022, to be your commencement guest speaker today. Being an alumni at this school, I can think back to when I myself, many years ago, all the way back when dinosaurs roamed the earth, sat in those very chairs and those very spots that you were in amongst my peers with my heart pounding out of my chest and anticipating that very moment where I would get to walk across the stage. I think back on that day with fond memories and I am truly humbled and honored to share that moment with you today as it will be one of the most special memories in your life that you experience. You might not realize it, but I have a great amount of confidence that in the future, when you reminisce on your high school days, you will smile as you think of how this time shaped who you are as an adult. Yeah, that's right. Those four years of all the ups and downs that you experienced, they were not for nothing. They were where you learned, accomplished, and shaped your personality. So that's right, high school is a crazy concept, right? That's where you learn to learn. You learn how to take in information and data. You learned how to gain the results that you want. You learned how to have a good work ethic and be responsible, or at least try to, right? So by the time you reached your sophomore year, you probably had formed your study habits and figured out how to succeed in class and those habits were going to carry you through the next several years. So you're now learning what it's like to juggle relationships, homework, and extracurriculars all at the same time. So every day you accomplish something, whether it was big or small. So perhaps you got an A on a test or maybe you were just able to muster through a really tough day where you wanted to give up so badly but didn't. So each of those instances were felt countless times by each of you over the last four years. But they helped you, they helped show you how important it is to celebrate something every day, even if it's not something big. So now you've gotten through the rest of your sophomore year and your junior year, and right when you feel like you kind of have the hang of things, your senior year rolls around. It's time to look at colleges, apply to colleges, you know, think about prom and all this stuff, and you've formed all these relationships with friends and maybe even dating. Well, what are you going to do when you graduate, right? So you officially have became a young adult. Isn't that, that's a crazy concept, isn't it, to think that? So... This is the time during your senior year that your personality traits really started to shine through and you start to become the person that you're destined to be. Maybe you learned that you're a perfectionist when it comes to small details. You have to get every single little thing right on your homework assignments or, you know, everything. Or maybe you figured out that you're you know, maybe popularity isn't the most important thing to you. Maybe you don't have to be the most popular person in the group. That's a personality trait. That's data that you are displaying and experiencing. So no matter what traits, skills, or habits you develop, I want you to own them. They're part of you. And know that your journey is just beginning, and there's so much more about yourself that you will come to learn. This is only the beginning. During your time here at County High School, you have learned, accomplished, and began to shape your unique personality. So as you go through life, and life is going to hand you so many challenges throughout life, and they get thrown your way, remember that in those moments, try to stop and think about those 842,400 minutes that you survived how you've already accomplished and grown so much as an individual. You've balanced work, school, hobbies, friendships, 
sports activities and you've made it through the you made it to the other end sitting in this very spot that you sit today you've officially made it and if you can make it through all of that i believe that you can make it through anything congratulations